Hey guys, Josh Horowitz here for I Pick Life, here with Sean Levy, best known as the director of the Night at the Museum films, and of course, executive producer of Stranger Things. Hey, Sean. Oh, I'm well. finding our pod very cozy you, uh, already. Almost too cozy. Like, I feel like I'm ready for takeoff. <laughs> exactly. Three, Like, are we two. ready for light speed? I feel so. <laughs> okay. Tell me the first filmmaker you were obsessed with. Peter Weir was one of the first. Ron Howard has always been one for me because they didn't have a consistent genre, but it was always championing the human spirit. It was fundamentally hopeful. That was the spirit of what I wanted to do. Time for a movie going confession. What classic movie have you never seen? I had not seen Goonies until last month. And I've been in hundreds of meetings in Hollywood like, well, you know, I wanted to have kind of a Goonies vibe. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my God, yes. Love that Goonies vibe. But secretly going like, what is everyone talking about? You're the executive producer of Stranger Things, a legitimate phenomenon. Has the success of the show exceeded your expectations? When we finished the show, we knew it was cool and we knew it was unlike anything that was out there. I, I, I sincerely tell you, we had no idea if anyone would watch. The fact that it's become this kind of global phenom is genuinely thrilling. I'm still top on Centipede and Dig Dug. You sure about that? Sure about what? Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh, no, 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 751,300 points. That's impossible. Who, who's Mad Max? Better than you. You've got season three of Stranger Things coming up. What can the fans expect? Definitely the threat of evil and the way that the evil is played out in season three is an escalation. The spectacle is in many ways more intense, mm. uh, but we learned on season two that no matter how big it gets, it's got to always stay anchored into these characters yeah. because as much as people talk and write about the 80s setting and the genre influences, People love Stranger Things because they love these characters. Have you ever snuck into a theater playing one of your films? And what's that like? Sneaking in to the, and standing in the back of a theater when it's your movie playing and feeling that, oh man, they're with you. That's the greatest. But I've also, this happened once or twice where I've snuck into a theater and there's like seven people there. I'm like, guys, what is going on? This is weekend two. But that's the nature of this job. In the end, you can do your job perfectly and it still might miss. Mm. And once you realize that, you realize, oh, I need to enjoy process because outcome is beyond my control, but I can revel in process and that is never, that's never gonna get taken away. So it's good to catch up with you, man. Yeah, man. Congratulations on the many projects uh, in the past and to come. Uh, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Oh, this was fun.